The Idaho Vandals won their second game of the season right here in the Kimmy Dome today, beating the number 11 team in the country, Eastern Washington, by a score of 35 to 27. I'm just super proud for all my assistants, for their families, for every single one of my players and their families, and my family. You know, because it's hard. It's hard, you know. I'm happy for my wife. I'm happy for my two daughters. I'm happy for my son who, but he plays his butt off and he competes and he's a good player. You know, and at some point people might be able to say that. The Vandal offense was hot early as they scored two touchdowns in the first quarter, both by running back Andre Carter. The Vandal defense was lights out the entire first half, only allowing six first downs and 103 yards in total. With the Vandals up 28 to zero at halftime, the Eagles had to get something going, driving all the way down the field and running in for a touchdown. With the Vandals only up by two scores, star wideout Jeff Cotton knew he had to make a play, catching a touchdown from Mason Petrino to put the Vandals up 35-13. to EWU would score two more times, but the Vandal lead was just too much as the Vandals were able to take the win. I think our whole team played hard. Our whole line came out, competed, got after people. Our running backs ran hard. Jeff made some great catches. Cottrell made some great catches. You go to the defensive side of the ball to stop that offense like they did in the first half. It's pretty awesome. The Vandals will now travel to Greeley to take on the Northern Colorado Bears, who are currently 0-3. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Harrison Lashmere.